So firstly, I'm going to change the shooting to the behavior based shooting that I did in a previous video. So here we go. We have our shooting now. Very awesome. So now we're going to add pictures to each object. So for my player, I'm going to edit the objects and I'm just going to delete selection and then add and I'm going to choose the image I want to use. And so now you can see my players changed and this is with automatic rotations on. So this seems all fine. But if you wanted to change the rotation point, then you'd edit the object, go into edit points and move the center point, which is the yellow one. So you can move this on his head and now it will rotate around his head. What if we wanted to have uh, diagonals as well, but we didn't want it to do this and only have these four and no diagonal rotations. Well, that's quite simple. Firstly, we can turn off rotate object. Next, we can go into our events, make a new event, add condition, keyboard, key pressed, and we're gonna make four new events, one for each of the arrow keys. And this is gonna say, when the left key is pressed, we're going to make the player look towards this. And when the right key is pressed, we're gonna make him look towards this. Rotate towards angle, player. So in GDevelop, the angles, zero is on the right, and so 180 is on the left. So if you want him to look towards the left, you do 180, unless, your player is looking down or looking up or uh, whatever because mine by default is looking right and so you want to uh, change this suiting to where your sprite is looking to start off with so now i'm going to do the right key press change it to zero and for me the up is going to be 270 zero is right 270 is up 180 is left and 90 is down and there we go we have top down movement with diagonals but without looking diagonally and you can't shoot diagonally either because you're not looking diagonally so now let's change the other sprites Okay, so here I've got these, but you can see, oh no, if we try and shoot, it fires out from, not from his gun. And so this is because it's currently firing out from the origin point on our player. We can fix this by going to edit objects, edit points, and we can either drag the origin point somewhere, or we can make a new point and put it on our gun and call it something like muzzle. So now if we go into the events, on our space key pressed event, inside of player.x, inside of these brackets put quotation marks and then the point name so muzzle and then muzzle now it shoots out from the muzzle except the origin point on my bullet is not in the middle it's up at the top left so it seems to be coming from a different point so just to be easy i can drag this down like this or put it closer to the middle like that there you go it's perfect apart from the uh, z order but you can change that so you can either change the uh, z order in the editor or in the events we can add action go to z order bullets set to and then put out one let's say and then we just want to make sure that our player is more than one so two okay so we want to make a new event which just has no condition so it fires all the time and there we go there it is and so we can hold it down and it's like a automatic rifle let's say so if you didn't want it to fire all the time when you hold it down you can just do a trigger once like before so currently as you can see the zombie that i have is not uh, rotating towards where he's looking there isn't a super easy way that i've found to do this and so if you know a way make sure to comment it and I'll do it in the next video. But until then, I'm gonna wait on an extension which is gonna do this for us. So have fun.